I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Guillaume. And welcome to Cirque It Out. The exclusive Cirque du Soleil fitness series, where we will guide you through a different workout every week, ranging from beginner to advanced. Today, the very first episode of Cirque It Out season two. We're gonna start with our beginner back workout. Are you ready? Let's Cirque It Out. We're gonna start with the neutral position. The neutral position is the combination of three muscle groups, the pelvic floor, the multifidus, and the transverse abdominis. So first, pelvic floor. You have to think of the pelvic floor of like a sling that is supporting you from underneath. And to activate your pelvic floor, you have to think about retaining yourself from peeing. And you want to be able to breathe in and breathe out and hold the contraction within your pelvic floor. Second part, transverse abdominis. To feel your transverse, put your hands on your hip bones and feel the natural activation that goes in your transverse when you are activating your pelvic floor. So what you have to feel, you have to feel that the zone underneath your fingers is naturally flattened up when you are activating your pelvic floor. Multifidus. The multifidus is a muscle that is located underneath your lumbar muscles. And the role of this muscle is to stabilize your spine. To feel your multifidus, you put one hand underneath your back and you have to feel that it's small cushion along your spine. Not the big lumbar muscle, but the small muscle just along the spine. Activate pelvic floor, feel the transverse, feel your multifidus and just hold this position for a couple of breaths in and breathe out. Once this is done, we can start with the first exercise, beginner dead bug. So you're gonna start in this position and engage your muscle chain, so pelvic floor, transverse, multifidus, and then you're gonna bring your knees into a tabletop. In this position, while still holding the muscle chain, you're gonna bring one leg down without the releasing the muscle chain and bring your knee up. Then you're gonna bring the other one down and bring it up. And you're gonna do 10 of each. So left, right is one, and you're gonna do 10 reps of this one. If you wanna add another difficulty, you can bring your shoulder up off the floor and your arms off the floor like this to bring more contraction into your abs. And then again, knees up, knees down. 10 reps of those and you can do three sets of 10 for this one. And now, we're gonna show you the bridging exercise. So bridging, starting in the same position, engage your muscle chain and slowly, you're gonna roll yourself up and rolling vertebra by vertebra into a bridging position. Once you're here, feel all the muscle, co all the muscle connection and slowly, you're gonna bring one leg up so extend one leg without moving your hip, bringing it down and switch, up and down. You can do 10 reps of this. And if you want to add difficulty, you're going to bring your hands on your legs. So like this, you have less part of your body on the floor. So the proprioceptive aspect of the exercise is raised up, which will challenge more the proprioception of your spine. So you can do 10 reps of this, take a break, and do three sets total. All right, so now we're gonna get into the rotation exercise. The rotation exercises are meant to bring more mobility within your spine. So first exercise is gonna be a twist crunch. So for the twist crunch, you're gonna bring one of your legs on top of your knee, and you're gonna do a crunch bringing opposite elbow to opposite knee. Of course, holding the same muscle chain that we explained at the beginning of the episode. You're gonna give me 10 reps of this and then switch legs. Okay, same. If you wanna add more difficulty, bring both of your legs into a tabletop and then goes opposite knee, opposite elbow. 10 reps. Still holding the initial position. Don't lose that connection in, into the muscle chain. That's very important. All right. And now we're going to do into, into another rotation exercise, which is the book opening. 
All right, so for a book opening, you're gonna be laid down on your side like this, and what you want, you want to be aligned, to align your ankles, your hip, and your shoulders. You're gonna start in this position with hands together, and then slowly, you're gonna slide your hands on top of your arms, and do like if you would be opening a book. Now there, you have to feel engaging your core within the same muscle chain that we explained at the beginning. Feel the twist in your core, and then bring it back slowly, but surely. You can do 10 reps of this and then switch sides. If you want to add more difficulties, what we can do is you can go straight arms. So open, stay engaged in your core, open, open, open. Go as far as you can within your range of flexibility. Don't try to overstretch if you don't have the range of motion. All right. You can do 10 reps of each sides and then we can go into the next exercise. So this next exercise is called the lying clam. So this exercise is meant to target mainly your glute. So you're gonna be laid down in the same position with aligned ankle, hip, and shoulder. And what you're gonna do is that you wanna raise up your knee. So open your legs just like this and you're gonna feel the engagement of the glute right here. So you can do 10 open and close. If you wanna raise the difficulty, you can bring your legs, both of your legs up actually. Like this, hold it and open and close. 10 repetitions of each. And then switch sides. You can do three sets on each side. So when you're done with this, you're gonna lay on your stomach and we're gonna start doing the exercise targeting mainly your back. So in this position, you wanna engage the same muscle chain and we explain. So what do you have to feel? You have to feel like as if you would have like a small fruit underneath your belly that you don't want to scratch. So you engage pelvic floor, transverse, and multifidus. So you don't want to feel that your belly is like flat on the floor, but you want to feel that everything is engaged. From this position, we're going to go into a basic Superman. So the Superman is the exercise when you're going to raise opposite arm and opposite legs. So you're going to go like this, you're going to hold the position up for about five seconds, then bring it down, and switch. So left, right is one, and you want to give me 10 on each side. If you want to raise the difficulty up, you can do both arms and both legs in the same time. Hold for 10 seconds and bring it down. 10 reps, and you can do three sets. When you're bringing both legs and both arms up, things about not scratching, not scratching the little fruit underneath your belly. Keep your belly engaged and the muscle chains on. So now we're gonna go what we call the quad repeat position. So as you saw, we started the workout lay down and slowly but surely we are making our way up. So in this position, start by feeling the engagement on the muscle chain. So pelvic, floor, transverse, and multifidus. In this position, we're gonna do what we call the cat cow. So first, you're gonna sink the back, bringing your belly up and make a round back with holding the initial position. And from this position, you're gonna slowly go into an arching position. This exercise is made to bring more mobility into your spine. You can give me 10 of those. From this position, we're going to go into a modified Superman position. So, same idea than the first Superman we did, but onto a quadruped position. So first, engage the muscle chain, and then you're going to bring up opposite arm and opposite legs, slowly but surely. Don't lose the connection, keep your hips parallel to the floor, and switch. Once you read the extended position, you can hold the position for about three seconds, and then switch. Right, left is one, give me 10 of each, three sets. If you want to bring the, leave, the difficulty level up, you can try to do same side. So one side and leave the same arm and the same leg. This is much more difficult. So same, when you get into the extended position, try to hold the position for two to three seconds and switch, same thing. All right, once you're done with it, you can go onto your knee. And then in this position, 
try to engage your muscle change. So think pelvic floor, transverse, multifidus. And try to just breathe in, breathe out. Try to feel as natural as possible. Once you've done it a couple of times, then I guess that's it for this episode. But stay tuned for next one in which Elizabeth is going to feature her infamous beginner abs. See you next time. Can do audio action. Breakfast is essential to kickstart your day. It reboots your system as your metabolism slows down during sleep for recovery. Planning a well-balanced first meal of the day beneficiates both your mental and physical health. Coming from someone who intends to gain muscle, after a big breakfast, I like to eat every two to three hours to ensure my muscles have the fuel they need to keep going throughout the day. All right, guys, what do you think of this workout? Not bad, huh? Remember, you don't have to be a Cirque du Soleil artist for this workout to benefit you. Stick with it, you won't be sorry. If you loved this video, like it, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. Have a look over here to see what Cirque Out video you want to work out to next. And don't forget to subscribe right here and ring the bell so you'll get notified when we upload new videos. Never seen a Cirque du Soleil show or want to see another? You can get tickets right here.